Good evening, and welcome to the Central Kitsap High School 2023 Senior Awards Celebration. I am Mr. Sullivan. And I'm Mr. Randall. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah! And we are teachers here at CK. We are honored to be your host for tonight's ceremony. And not just Mr. Sullivan, because they are forcing us to do this. We are thrilled to guide you through our ceremony as we celebrate the vast list of honors and awards of this distinguished cohort of graduating seniors. While our commencement program celebrates our seniors as a collective class, tonight is about highlighting the many individual achievements of our top scholars. Coming up, you will be introduced to our National Merit Commendation Scholars, 4.0 GPA recipients, scholarships and award winners, and of course, our valedictorians and salutatorians. And Mr. Sullivan, could you imagine if you played Han Solo in Star Wars the movie? No, why would I do that? Uh, you'd be like this. Hey, I'm Mr. Sullivan. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Hey, Wait. where's Chewbacca? I'm a Wookiee. <laughs> I think you're doing Mark Wahlberg. It's no, it's not a good one though. That's you. It's me? Yeah. Oh, not Mark Wahlberg, okay. Thank you to all of our students, families, and CKHS staff that have brought us to the celebration today. We honor you. Uh, Ewoks were also in Star Wars. Okay. And now it's time to recognize our young Jedis with some war. And I see that Mr. Randall has altered the script. Let's roll the clips! seniors and families. My name is Lizzie Martin and it is my great pleasure to recognize our CKHS National Merit Scholars. The National Merit Scholarship Program began in 1955. High school students enter the National Merit Program by taking the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, commonly known as the PSAT, which serves as an initial screen of approximately 1.5 million entrants each year. We would like to salute these individuals for their achievement, and we offer them best wishes for the realization of the high goals that they have set for themselves. Their hard work and dedication to academic achievement have resulted in being placed in the top 3.5% of U.S. high school graduating seniors. Congratulations to the following students for their achievement. Congratulations. My name is Michelle Satello, school counselor. It is my honor and privilege tonight to introduce to you our graduating Central Kitsap High School seniors who have maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA throughout their high school career. These students all began their Cougar journey together as freshmen and over the past four years have challenged themselves by taking rigorous courses at both the high school and college level while also being actively involved in arts, activities, and athletics. We commend the following students. We know you're just at the beginning of another journey sure to bring you even more accomplishments and achievements. Way to go, Cougs.
Good evening, CK High family, friends, and future grads. My name's Rebecca Doherty, counselor for Running Start and West Sound Tech students. This year, I'm thrilled to announce that we have 50 students that will not only earn their high school diploma, but also earn an advanced degree from Olympic College in just a few short weeks. 45 of these students are earning their Associate of Arts direct transfer agreement. Three of these students have also completed the nursing prerequisites to apply to nursing schools and two students have earned an Associate of Science, which is no easy task to accomplish during high school. Please extend a big congratulations to all of these students. For all of my Running Start students, it's been a pleasure to advise you the last two years, and I wish you so much success in your next steps in life. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Go Cougs and go Rangers. Congratulations to our 4.0 scholars. My name is Scott McMines. I'm one of the counselors in the counseling department. Community is at the heart of our student lives and their high school years. Each year, our CK High community is blessed with an outpouring of generous support and recognition from local community organizations, scholarship committees, and donors. Throughout the school year, our senior students engage in rigorous application submissions, many including essay compositions and personal narratives, in hopes of earning recognition and joining the honor ranks of these distinguished organizations. It is our pleasure at this time to welcome each of these community members and groups to recognize their individual student recipients. <music>
Greetings, everyone. Good evening. I'm Yang Lachanaling, CK alumni class of 1998. And yes, that was 25 years ago. I'm here to present the Kevin Lachanaling Memorial Scholarship. My brother, Kevin, excelled in academics and sports. He was also selected as one of the salutatorians for CK during his time there, class of 2011. He also received the Gates Foundation Scholarship, where he used it to attend UC Berkeley towards a medical degree. During the final moments of Kevin's life, seconds prior to the vehicle collision, Kevin helped three students to safety and save their lives. In honor of my brother, we created a memorial scholarship in his name to be given to students who mirror his path. All of the applicants this year were very competitive. The board this year selected Zavian Stringer and recognizes his academic performance, volunteer service, sports, and leadership with a $1,000 scholarship toward a medical profession. Congratulations, Avion. Congratulations to the Ella Fitzgerald Jazz Award winner, Kennedy Threadgold, and the National Choral Award winner, Mason Lang. Congratulations and thank you. The winner of the Louis Armstrong Award for Outstanding Jazz Musician goes to Jonathan Cota. The winner of the John Philip Sousa Award for Outstanding Band Member goes to Kalen Cavanaugh. And the winner of the Outstanding Orchestra Musician goes to Tia Jane Fowler. Good afternoon. It is my privilege to present this year's Art Department Awards for CK. Both of this year's recipients spent four years taking arts classes and experiencing how different media could make them stronger artists. This was true even during the pandemic, which was incredibly hectic and a tough time to be a visual artist. Interestingly enough, both recipients focused on aspects of the human condition as part of their AP portfolios, though their approaches were quite different. Maria Inouye. This year, Maria's portfolio looked at moments of quiet reflection and peace as a catalyst for transformation of self. Her artistic vision combined with great technical skill makes for detailed works that can be appreciated by any viewer. Elliot McCorkle. Elliot has a passion for passion. Their art consistently pushes boundaries of what can be acceptable as two-dimensional art. This year, Elliot's portfolio reflected on the obstacles that can impede personal authenticity, both intrinsically and extrinsically. This amalgamation of different media and such relatable subject matter makes their art compelling. The recipient of this year's Theater Department Award is Teddy Schmidt. Teddy is an exemplary student who has demonstrated qualities that make them successful in drama and in school. Since their freshman year, Teddy has been a stage manager for the drama department and has been a part of every single stage production since we did the Scottish play in 2019. Teddy is really 
uh, the perfect example of everything that we strive to be in this program, dedicated, uh, con uh, organized, and uh, especially just a leader who loves what they do. Teddy, uh, you're the heart and soul of this program. We wish you luck in your next big adventure. Break a leg at college and in all that you do in life. Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Birkenfeld. I'm the science department chair here at Central Kitsap High School. And I get the wonderful opportunity to give or to award our science department awards to two wonderful science uh, scholars. The first, Marcella Fisher. Thank you for all your hard work, Ms. Mar Marcella. And to Jada Kopp. Again, thank you, Jada, for all your hard work. We're so proud of you and wish you only the best in all of your future endeavors from all of us here in the science department at Central Kitsap High School. The social studies department is pleased to announce that the senior award recipients for the class of 2023 are Sarah Lawrence and Grace Vanderlee. Sarah uh, is a brilliant thinker who makes conceptual leaps and connections from content to the real world. Her writing abilities are superb. One of her teachers said that her writing assignments in class and essays could easily be professionally published with minimal editing. Her social studies courses included ancient civilizations, psychology, AP psychology, AP world history, AP US history, AP comparative government, and economics. Uh, she remains humble and is a true pleasure to work with for all of her teachers including myself. Grace Vanderlee is also brilliant, has an inquisitive mind, has a true love for learning. She has taken AP Human Geography, Modern World History, AP Psychology, U.S. History, AP U.S. Government, and Economics. Both of these students uh, also served on the executive board of our associated student body. Grace was our public relations liaison, and Sarah was our executive secretary. Through these roles, they work to improve campus life and support issues affecting all of our school. Can think of no two people more deserving, so congratulations, Grace and Sarah. These are the senior awards for world languages, starting with French. Dana Novik. Dana has demonstrated exceptional work ethic through her exploration of French and the Francophone world. She has put her whole self into learning French. I am so proud of her and her accomplishments. Madison Renee Malport. From day one, Renee proclaimed that she was going to take French all four years. Her, from her expressed passion for learning and her many facial expressions and exclamations in class, I have enjoyed watching her grow as a person in the French language and culture. These are the awards for Spanish. Sophia Driscoll. Sophia is a great example of commitment to education. She is goal-oriented and has also demonstrated to take on challenges for the sake of learning. She has shown good command of Spanish academic language skills. Kathleen Anderson. Kathleen has shown great improvement for the past two years in her comprehension and analytical skills of Spanish authentic resources. Her attention to detail as a best student is very appreciated. For Japanese, Maria Inoue. Maria is hardworking, dedicated, delightful, and a positive student who excelled in every challenging assignment for her AP test preparation. Joshua Jimenez. Joshua is a diligent, dedicated, and motivated student who completed all assignments faster than anyone else with excellent work quality.
Andrea Romano and I teach ASL here at CK High School. I am really proud to present two ASL Senior Awards to Sydney Pascal earned the first award and this is due to her persistence at using ASL in the classroom. She comes in ready to learn every day. She signs with her partner constantly, even when others around her are talking. And she works hard without fail. So congratulations, Sydney. The second ASL Senior Award goes to Lainey Lark. Lainey is something special. So not only is her ASL remarkable, but she has firsthand experience in the deaf community. She's an exceptional advocate for people who are deaf and hard of hearing. Her commitment to equality for our community is truly evident. She uses her knowledge and her voice to educate our class about the experience of being deaf. So congratulations, Lainey. Hi. Didn't see you there. Hey, it's my honor this year to present the English Department Award winner as the top English student in the graduating class of 2023. This student really should demonstrate a love of learning, a passion for literature, and really can write extraordinarily well. I'm so honored to announce that this year's winner is Dana Novick. Hi, uh, it's my pleasure today to um, give the English Department Award to Rosa Wade. Uh, she really stood out to me during the pandemic as a very hard worker and as somebody who really cares about improving and her education. And then she just was a rock star in AP literature. Um, and since then, she's taken advantage of so many English opportunities. Uh, she's been in theater um, and been wonderful on the stage. And uh, she's taken creative writing and college in high school English. So she really deserves this award. She's left the school a better place. So great job, Rosa. It is our privilege and honor at Central Kitsap High School to award and recognize the following seniors for their choices to pursue academic rigor and achieve challenging standards. Well done, we applaud you and your efforts, your dedication and your work ethic. These attributes have served you well and will pave your way to future success. We encourage you to build upon the strengths as you enter into the next stage of your journey. Be sure to thank those that have helped you along the way, your family, peers, teachers, and staff. Well done. Well done, Cougs. Congratulations and all the best.
is Craig Johnson, and as principal of Central Kitsap High School, I have the unique honor of recognizing our valedictorian and salutatorians. Central Kitsap High School is founded on the mission of being dedicated to excellence. And the following students have embraced this commitment through an incredible high school career, academic, social, and civic pursuits. The valedictorian and salutatorians are selected by the faculty on the basis of their grade point average, status as distinguished scholar, their courses of study, and the demonstrated pursuit and love of scholarly learning. The class of 2023 has one outstanding valedictorian and five equally deserving salutatorians. They're an outstanding group of students who have excelled tremendously during their time at Central Kitsap. We look forward to hearing from all of you during our commencement ceremony on June 17th. Thank you. Congratulations, valedictorians and salutatorians. We can't wait to hear more from you at the commencement ceremony. Well, CKHS class of 2023, that's it for tonight's award ceremony. Each of the students awarded and recognized tonight is remarkable. These honors are hard fought and hard earned through countless full days of late nights of hitting the books, collaborating with peers and consulting with your teachers, families, and loved ones. Well, I hope they didn't hit the books too hard because they could end up injuring their hand. And I think we speak for all of the staff at CKHS and all your elementary and middle school staff before us and your daycare teachers and your little league coaches and your neighbors, uh, even the ones that don't give out candy during Halloween, they just give out like toothbrushes or dental floss like the dentist. We speak for them. Uh, yeah, we speak for them. And we say how proud of uh, you we are. And that we cannot wait to hear more about your future accomplishments and contributions to the world, the galaxy, and if we end up colonizing space, I guess space. Space, space, space. Echo, echo, space. Thank you. We'll see you at graduation. Boom shakalaka!